Hey everyone, it's TK from Profit Stream, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you all you need to know about Google Trends. Google Trends is a powerful tool that allows you to discover what's popular in a certain niche or industry. And in this video, I'm gonna show you where to find keywords, when to market, where to market, and how to stay updated on the current trends. So, first off, you want to do is to open Google Trends and then hit the explore button. Okay, now you're gonna see a search bar. It's recommended you search something your clients might search. So let's say I'm a personal trainer on a fat loss uh, program. So we're gonna say, so we're gonna put fat loss here and search. Okay. Now underneath the search bar, you're gonna see some filters here. We're gonna go through them later on. So now if you scroll down a bit, there is an interest over time section. Here you'll see a graph with a time frame. This can be helpful to either uh, see if your search term is gaining popularity or losing popularity, or if it's the right time to start a campaign. For example, let's say you have a website that sells uh, decorations okay and it's december so let's put in christmas decorations okay so you can see here it starts to gain a bit of traction in july and starts going up gaining some real traction in october so october it, is the right time to start pushing your uh, ideas, uh, start writing some blogs, uh, start your marketing campaign in general. As you can see now, it's gaining, gaining, and it peaked in November 26. Now, if we scroll down, you'll see an interest by region. Now here, you can see where your search term is most popular. Here, we can see that United Kingdom United Kingdom, United Kingdom takes first place, followed by Ireland, Australia. Here you'll get a sense of where your clientele are. Okay, now you can filter it by region or city. You can see here, if we go down a bit, you can see two sections, related queries and related topics. Now the related queries here, you'll get your keywords, okay? So, um, Christmas tree decoration ideas. Maybe you write a blog post about it or uh, you'll put it under your posts, hashtags. Now to the right of every query, you'll see either a breakout or a percentage. Breakout means that the search term grew by 5,000%. So let's pick this one. You see its interest over time. As you can see, it gained traction in September, gained real traction in November, peaked November 26, December, like the past one. You go in, Philippines likes uh, Christmas tree decoration ideas. So here you'll see even more keywords. Like it's very easy to get keywords on Google Trends, okay? But keep in mind, not all keywords are related to your search term, okay? Related topics. Related topics are topics related to your search term. In the related queries, you'll see another filter. There's rising and there's top. Top means it's the most searched query. Okay, so the most searched query here is white Christmas tree. So that's a very good keyword to use. Uh, white Christmas tree decorations, ideas 2023. Slap it in. It's good to write them, uh, write them aside, okay? So this is the explore. Now let's dive in deeper to the filters now, shall we? The first filter is the area filter. Like uh, you can choose uh, whatever city, whatever uh, country you want. Let's say you want, you want to see if Christmas decorations are good in Egypt, if they're popular in Egypt. So you can see here, it's gaining traction. 
it's gaining a lot of traction you can see here in cairo it's uh, it's popular in giza it's popular let's say by city here you can filter city new cairo city it's very popular okay and here you have the related queries okay now if you want something that isn't yearly let's say the world cup okay past 12 months is not gonna do is not gonna do you any good so you have to go back to 2004 till present okay and put here uh, world cup okay now as you can predict every four years there's a spike because it is every four years for those of you who don't know now the third filter is categories you can filter them by categories so let's say uh, world cup is sports okay you'll see the same it's just to be more specific okay now the last filter is you filter it by search engine uh image search news search youtube search okay and another thing here you can compare two search uh, terms okay so let's say you're arguing with a friend on which is more popular uh football or uh, tennis football you take the search term now you compare it with tennis now you can see here there's a bit of a difference so tennis is obviously not as popular as football now when you scroll down you can see here which are the most popular by region so you can see football is in blue tennis is in uh, orange now you can see nigeria united kingdom ireland they all like football more than tennis now let's sort it by tennis now if you go down a bit more you can see here by region to the right you can see the related queries related to that search uh, term and also tennis is the same you can see here where uh, where it's most uh, popular now we've covered how to find keywords when to market and where to market now if you click on trending now it will give you all the daily search trends as you can see here now here you'll never be out of ideas but never be out of content ideas okay so let's say friday december the 15th the celtics and clippers were most popular search 20k searches 50k searches you can see them on the right here okay now if you click on one of them you can see it's related news okay let's click on another one okay so when you scroll down you'll go to a different date the day before okay so now the raiders on thursday were popular and if you click on the arrow here you'll see some related queries you can use if you have a, let's say sports blog website you can use these it has one plus million search it's uh, popular okay now let's go to the real-time search trends and the real-time search trends it gives you in the past 24 hours okay now to the right here you have a filter of categories let's say you have a health blog it shows you all the health related search trends now it's it's not always pretty you know so if you if you click on the arrow here it shows you its interest over time plus here it shows you the news articles how many news articles it has like here it had nine four five you can see here it peaked at 21 articles scroll down a bit you can see the related news about it and you'll have some related queries which you can use as keywords okay and you can scroll down load more 
keeps getting better and better. You'll never run out of uh, content ideas. You'll never run out. Okay. And to the right here, you have a filter by country. So now you'll never run out of new content. So let's get back to the home page. Now let's click on the burger icon on the top left. Okay. There's subscriptions. Here you can subscribe to get the latest news. All you have to do is click the plus button here. Now, you have two options, either topic or trending searches. Now, topic, you can you can search like sports, let's say, or, or football. Football. Okay. Now, uh, you can select the region. And how often do you want to get these emails? Okay, and the trending searches, you can filter it by type, top daily search trends, majority of daily search trends, all daily search trends, and how often, once a day, once a week, or as it happens. Okay, and you just subscribe. So if you don't have time to check Google Trends or if you're on the go, with this free tool here, you now know how to stay updated and you can never be out of content. You can see if a topic or a search term is gaining popularity or losing popularity or when to enter uh, a market or push your ad campaign and to see if a search term is popular in a certain region or not. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Till next time, it's TK from ProfitStream.